9th December every year has been set aside to celebrate the International Anti-Corruption Day since the passage of the United Nations Convention Against Corruption on October the 31st, 2003, to raise public awareness for anti-corruption. This year's celebration seeks to highlight the crucial link between anti-corruption, peace, security and development. Relevant stakeholders have gathered here to discuss and prefer solutions to this menace that drives organized crime and undermines national development. According to the 2021 Corruption Perception Index by Transparency International, Nigeria ranks as the 154th least corrupt nation out of 180 countries and scored 24 points out of 100. Please join us and welcome here, Barrister Pastor. On the flip side, Nigeria is impressing in the area of asset recovery, which government says it is deploying for building infrastructure. Nigeria has excelled, that is the second finding, and continues to excel in particular as concerns the implementation of Chapter 5 on asset recovery and therefore her unchallenged status as a world champion on asset recovery, recovering more assets from abroad than any other country. Through the efforts of various anti-corruption and law enforcement agencies, substantial recoveries running into billions of naira in various, various billions of naira dollars euros among other currencies have been recovered and plowed into funding critical infrastructure projects as the nation approaches the 2023 general elections attentions here shift to the impact of corruption on the exercise and the economic and financial crimes commission is promising to counter any form of vote buying and selling during the polls the efcc assures all nigerians that it will do all within its powers working with relevant stakeholders, particularly INEC, and law enforcement agencies to discourage voters buying or voters' inducement. A lot of work has to be done, and is still being done, to check the ease of illicit forms, of the use of illicit forms for election purposes. The resolution here is that the fight against corruption is a collective effort, and every Nigerian should make an effort to counter its influence because of the impact on national development.